Today we will continue with Spring OAuth 2. We will make the connection between a Spring Authorization Server, a Spring Resource Server and a Spring OAuth 2 client. In this video we will use the REST template. In this video we go back to the code from part 4 of this series. You can find the video using the link in the top right corner. We have started updating all Palm XML files. The Spring Boot Starter version is now 3.0.4 and the Spring Security OAuth 2 Authorization Server version is 1.0.1. .1. Also the Palm file of the resource server has been updated to version 3.0.4. Lastly, the Spring OAuth client has also been updated to the latest version. In this video, we are going to focus further on the Spring OAuth client. Instead of using the newer web client to make the connection between the Spring resource server and the Spring OAuth client, we are now using the REST template. The REST template is quite obsolete, but still very common and very useful. We start with the security config class where we have a security filter chain bean with the default settings. The real configuration happens in the next two classes. First the rest template builder config with the configuration annotation. The rest template builder bean. And the OAuth2 authorized client manager bean. In the rest template builder bean. We configure the Spring Resource URL and the OAuth2 Client Interceptor. In the OAuth2 Authorized Client Manager Bean, we configure an OAuth2 Authorized Client Provider. Here we use the authorization code and the refresh token, but you can also use the client credentials or password. The OAuth2 Client Interceptor implements the Client HTTP Request Interceptor. This class is called whenever the REST template wants to make a request. With constructor dependency injection, we create the OAuth2 authorized client manager and the client registration. In the intercept method, we get the authentication from the security context holder and create an OAuth2 authorized request. With this request, we can create an OAuth2 authorized client. The last step is to create an authorization header with the access token of the OAuth2 authorized client. In the welcome controller we can now use a REST template instead of a web client and with the OAuth2 client interceptor we can log in automatically and use the refresh token. That's it for this video. Thanks for following and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video.